ओके वी आर अलाइव हाय बसंती वापस गई ओके okay, अभी हम लोग सिर्फ बिजनेस की बात करेंगे क्योंकि हम लोग लाइव है हाँ ठीक है ठीक Thanks everyone for joining. We'll wait for another five minutes and we will start. Uh, Avantika, can you keep the first slide open? Oh, ma'am. Ah, uh, full screen, na? Yeah. No, it's not full screen yet. Hi, Sanjay. Thanks for joining. Hi, Harish. Hello, Geeta Anjali. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the invitation. <laughs> good, good. मानिक जी संजय को आप जानते हैं ना हाँ बिल्कुल वो तो सबसे आधार स्तंभ है <laughs> रोटी <laughs> वाइल्ड लाइफ कंजर्वेशन के आधार स्तंभ है वो तो थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू जी लॉट ऑफ वर्क एंड फंटेस्टिक वर्क थैंक यू ऑल विद सपोर्ट फ्रॉम फेलो फेलोस लाइक गीतांजलि योर सेल्फ एंड मेनी मोर नो आई एम नॉट सो मच एक्टिव बट यू आर डूंग फेबुलस वर्क thank you thank you ji and gitanjali is always she always do lot of uh, things and lot of work thank you president for joining absolutely hey thank you Yeah, we'll wait for two, three more minutes, and then we will start. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. No problem. Yeah, it's already eleven five. I think we can start. Just send a reminder once again to all uh, the groups. On the wireless. Yeah, you can you can send it wherever you have shared on all those places. Oh, okay. No, it's, I today morning only I've sent actually to everybody. <laughs> anyway. and it is live anyway so i'll be sharing
Hello, Jagdishan, sir. How are you? I am. am. How are you? No, no, sir. Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. You don't have to do anything, sir. We can see you both. Good to see you both. I think she cannot hear the voice. Ah. It must be mute or something. Okay, now it's fine. It's okay, fine. you can hear now? Yes. Very okay. Thank really you, nice you, to sir. see both of you. <laughs> <laughs> After so many months. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yesterday, I insisted to Venkat saying that they have to attend ah. because... <laughs> <laughs> no, we had uh, we had already kept it in you, but yesterday he also reminded me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so I think we can uh, start. Just give me a minute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, anyway, it is uh, live, so I will be sharing. So, Yes, here we are. Uh, good morning and a warm welcome to all from Rotary eConnect. Uh, as part of a speaker series, we have been enjoying talks by eminent speakers, and it is my absolute pleasure to introduce our today's speaker, Mrs. Manik Deshman. Uh, she's a dear friend, too, uh, and a fellow traveler. Uh, a teacher, she started pursuing her passion for traveling combined with wildlife post her retirement. She has traveled to many countries and been to many of the beaten track destinations in India. Uh, she is also trained under Bombay Natural History Society in nature studies and a regular contributor to many social initiatives, including Rotary. One of the very interesting destinations she had been was Great Nicobar Islands where regular tourism is not as easy as in many parts of the other country. Today, she will take us through her travels through these beautiful islands of India. So here we are traveling in search of endemics in Andaman Nicobar. Over to you, Manik, and Avantika will be handling the PPT. Okay, thank you so much, Gitanjali, and thank you, uh, Rotary eConnect, for giving me a chance to explain how our journey was. Thank you so much. Okay, let us start. Uh, good morning, everyone. And we are going in search of endemics in Andaman and Nicobar Islands. It was really fantastic trip. Next, please. The story of Nicobar tour began in our Nepal tour. When we went to Nepal tour with Gitanjali Dhar, at that time in October, she told that she was going to Nicobar, Great Nicobar in March, and Harish sir had already confirmed it, and there were only four seats available. So I myself wanted to go to Great Nicobar for many, many years. So I immediately uh, confirmed my seat, and so did Sundari ma'am and Jagdishan sir. So within five minutes, the seats of Nicobar were full, and we were very happy that at last, at least, we are able to go to uh, Great Nicobar. Next, please. After reaching uh, Great Nicobar, we start. Uh, sorry, first we reached uh, Port Blair, and then we started our birding. The most important thing I was to uh, I want to tell you is that some of the clicks are taken by Gitanjali Dhar, and some of the clicks are taken by me, which I added in this uh, PowerPoint presentation. The first bird which we saw was brown cockle. This bird is endemic to Andaman. This is really beautiful bird which we saw sitting beautifully uh, on the branch. Next, please. On the right side above, you can see blue eared kingfisher. <clears throat> this bird was sitting in sunlight, in morning sunlight, and it was looking really beautiful. And below, on the left side, it is Rudy Kingfisher. This is Andaman subspecies. 
Now, these subspecies are slightly different from the uh, species which are having in mainland. Next, please. In the evening, we went to Chidiya Tapu. As every traveler goes to Chidiya Tapu, we also went there. The evening was really beautiful. The sunset was so marvelous that we were sitting there for a long time. After some time, it started to drizzle and we enjoyed hot pakoras, potato pakoras and hot tea. And it was really lovely evening. Next, please. At night, we started our birding again. At that time, we saw on the left side, oriental fox owl. This is Andaman subspecies. And on the right side, you can see Yun's hawk owl. This is also Andaman resident. Next, please. Above, on the right side, you can see Andaman flower pecker. You know that this is the only flower pecker in Andaman Island. No other flower peckers are there. And below, on the left side, you can see white-headed starling. This is also a resident of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. This is beautiful bird. Next, please. On the above right side, you can see Andaman green pigeon. This is also resident of Andaman and Nicobar. And below, emerald doe. The colors of emerald doe are really beautiful. Next, please. See these Andaman teals. These are also resident of Andaman and IUCN status is vulnerable. Because of habitat loss and because of climate change, these birds are decreasing very, very fast. It's very sad, but it's true that these birds are decreasing very fast. Next, please. See on the left side, it is brown shrike. But this brown shrike is slightly different. It is Philippine species. And this uh, Philippine species, it winters in Andaman. Subspecies, uh, it is, the species is brown uh, shrike and the subspecies is Philippine, which winters in Andaman. And on the right side, it is bar bellied kukku shrike. This is a resident of Andaman. Next, please. Above, you can see forest wagtail. And below, on left side, watercock. This watercock is immature. The mature uh, watercocks are having slightly different color, brownish color. And on the right side, you can see a red-breasted parakeet. This is Andaman subspecies. Means red-breasted parakeet is also having subspecies in Andaman. And its IUCN status is near threatened. It was uh, in the nest, in the tree. It was sitting and having his head out of the nest. Next, please. See this, this is Andaman tree pie. And its IUCN status is vulnerable due to habitat loss. And on the right side, it's beautiful Asian fairy bluebird. Next, please. On the right side above, it is slaty breasted rail. We saw this near the pond where we were staying in Port Blair. Uh, below left side, it is ruddy breasted crake. This bird was found where we found Andaman teals. Mm. Next speed. We were very lucky to find this scarlet minivet female. And this female is not a simple uh, scarlet minivet, but it is Philippine subspecies. You see, the head of this female is completely black, and it's very rare. This bird, and we were extremely lucky to see this. Next, please. See this beautiful spot-breasted woodpecker. These are resident of Andaman. The, on the left side, it's baby, and on the right side, it's mother. The mother was feeding the baby, 
and the baby was happily having breakfast in the morning. Next, please. On the left side, it is Andaman Serpent Eagle. The crested serpent eagle, which we find in our mainlands, is slightly different, and this is slightly different, which is found in Andaman, Andaman Serpent Eagle. And on the right side, you can see black naped oriole. Uh, it's a baby, not fully grown up. Juvenile. Next, please. Now it was the day when we, uh, go, we were going to start our journey to Great Nicobar because it was our main target to go to Nicobar and we were very happy. But before that, we had to do a lot of things. First, we had to take permissions of the local authorities. Then we had to take permissions of the tribal uh, communities there, tribal authorities. All those permissions were taken by Shakti, who was local tour agent. And Bhavesh, uh, in the below picture, you can see with the goggle, he is Shakti, and uh, with the pink jersey, he is Bhavesh. Both of them arranged all the permits. After that, there was one more important task that was to book the tickets in Great Nicobar uh, ship. Because great, in Great Nicobar, the ships goes only once in a week. And getting tickets in that ship is very difficult because maximum uh, the Nicobar re residents are given preferences as well as the government employees, they are given, given preferences. And if the seats are available, then we can book the uh, seats. So we were extremely lucky to get the seats in the ship. The name of that ship was Coral Queen. And we were extremely happy that we got all the permits and the tickets in the ship. On the right side, you can see myself and Harish sir ready to board the ship Coral Queen. And below our group, after all clearances, ready to board the ship. The group, you can see uh, left side, uh, Jagdishan sir, then Bhavesh and Shakti, our uh, local two agents, then Sundari ma'am, Harish sir and myself. Next, please. Our journey voyage from Port Blair to uh, Great Nicobar. Our journey started from Port Blair. It was journey of nearly 28 to 29 hours. It's the ship started our journey at 11 a.m. from Port Blair. Next day, in the morning, you can see in the route, uh, Kamota Island. It was our first stop next day at 8 a.m. And on that day only, nearly, uh, 4 p.m. we reached Great Nicobar. In this way, the journey was nearly 28 to 10, 29 hours journey in the ship. And the waves were so high that the ship was uh, really uh, having a lot of trouble. Next, please. Now, while in the ship, we enjoyed the voyage really very much. You can see beautiful sunrise on the ship. We saw beautiful sunrise as well as sunset. And we saw a lot of birds flying. Also saw dolphins, group of dolphins. We couldn't take pictures because the birds and dolphins were far away from us. But we saw a group of dolphins. They were playing in the water. And even we saw the fishing, which was one, done by the staff. Really, because the staff used to live there on the ship for months. Why? Because uh, they have to go to from Port Blair to Great Nicobar. And nearly four to uh, five months, they are on the ship only. So, so sometimes they, fish, they do fishing on the ship to have fresh fish. I think you got muted, Demani and Kamani. Okay. okay. Now, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, the, the journey was really wonderful. And we saw many, many dolphins and many, many birds on the way from Great uh, Port Blair to Great Nicobar. Next, please. Next, please. Can you hear me? Okay. Thank you. Uh, now, you can see some leisure movements in the ship. 
on the left side myself and sundari ma'am have, having a cup of tea in the on the ship and on the right side gitanjali dhar sitting on the stairs actually she was not feeling well she don't like to travel in water at all but she had to so she was sitting on the stairs to have cool breeze so that she can feel good next please on the left left side you can see our bunker in the ship as i told you that we couldn't get the first class cabin tickets because of uh, the nicobar resident and lot of uh, government serv servants were traveling in that ship and preferences are always given to them but we got the tickets in the bunker and the bunker was also very good you can see the bunker it is like first class in railway uh, it is having ac the berths are very broad and very good with very good cushion in general the bunkers are also very good and we were happy that at last we got the tickets in the ship and we can we are now going to great nicobar on the right side you can see enjoying open air and cool breeze on the terrace of the ship in the evening the uh, journey of 28 hours was really thrilling and marvelous next please on the right uh, after reaching on the uh, nicobar great nicobar the first thing which, which we had to do was making arrangements of uh, staying because there are no hotels in great nicobar so there are three four uh, rest houses and we had to make arrangements in the rest houses but at that time when we went there some doctors teams those teams came to great nicobar for some survey and so Though we went to many rest houses, we couldn't get the rooms to stay. At last, in one rest house, we got, uh, got the rooms with common toilets and bathrooms. But those common to toilets and bathrooms were very clean, so we were happy that at last we got the rooms to stay in Great Nicobar. And there was canteen in that uh, uh, rest house, but we preferred to eat meals in this Sihachalan small eatery. it was very small but he gave us full meal getting full meal at great nicobar is also a luxury because it's very remote part and there are no hotels at all so on the right side above you can see uh, the eatery and harish sir gitanjali and local people local means the government employees lot of government employees uh, come to have meals the lunch and dinner to this sihachalan small eatery and it's always very crowded and this man give us meal uh, all complete meals means uh, roti uh, dal chawal and sabji all that is also very luxury in that place because it's very difficult to get all these things there even he made one uh, one day he made garam garam uh, bhajiya bhi banaya tha unhone you can see below uh, sihachalan small eatery on the left side one government employee jagdishan sir and myself waiting for the hot chapatis because as we went there used to go there he used to make hot chapatis for us and then he used to serve it next please next morning we went to great nicobar biosphere reserve this is a reserve with rich biodiversity of many rare and endemic plants and animal species including nicobar long tail macaw also the shompen type people they also live in the in the vicinity of this forest of course the road goes to their uh, part but there is a barrier and we cannot cross that barrier where their settlement is so in general this is very thick and very fantastic uh, biodiversity reserve next please in this biodiversity reserve, reserve there is hanging bridge inside the great bi uh, biodiversity uh, biosphere reserve you can see in the picture bavesh and gitanjali crossing it actually when we cross it it shakes lot very much it shakes too much and we enjoyed that shaking bridge but gitanjali didn't like it at all so she crossed with the help of bavesh the bridge with the help of bavesh next please you can see this nicobar long tailed macaw beautiful 
it's beautiful and it's endemic to nicobar island and its iucn status is vulnerable but the local people are worried why because these uh, these macaw they destroy their coconuts they are because they are having lot of coconut uh, coconuts in their uh, uh, a farm or anything so they, what happens that these macaws they eat the coconuts going they go in their farm and eat the coconut so the farmers are very worried and they are fed up of these macaws so research is going on what to do to stop these macaws from eating the coconuts next please <clears throat> no previous one yeah This, these are nicobar parakeet these are also endemic to nicobar islands it is one of the largest parakeets measuring 56 to 60 cm imagine 22 inches to 23 inches length imagine the length 23 inches these are very long and also very beautiful and can find only in on in nicobar islands on the left side you can see male which is having a red beak and on the right side you can see female which is having a black beak these pictures are taken from a long distance next please galatia national park this is part of the great nicobar biosphere reserve it is also having many unique and rare species of plants and animals in this uh, part of the biosphere reserve it is having thick forest wonderful forest as we wanted to see nicobar megapod so we went to this forest nearly at 5:30 am and then we sat down in the forest hiding in the trees behind the mound far away from the mound nearly 15 to 20 feet away from the 20 feet away from the mound hiding in the trees we were sitting there hiding from 5:30 am because we wanted to see nicobar megapod we have heard that the nicobar megapod used to come on that mound and that's why we were sitting there nearly for 2 hours we were sitting there but nicobar megapod didn't come so shakti our tour agent said that i don't think that today nicobar megapod will come let us go back but kitanjali said no no let us wait for some more time we will sit some more time so we were sitting there suddenly we heard fluttering of the bird and one medium sized bird came and sat on our near our tree when we saw it at that time it was sitting only for 15 to 20 seconds we were astonished shakti asked us do you know which bird it is i said no he said it's nicoba pigeon oh my god we were so lucky and we were so happy that without doing anything we saw this nicoba pigeon next please see this left side nicoba pigeon we were really extremely lucky to see this bird it is resident of mainly nicoba and its iucn status is near near threatened it may be the closest relative to extinct dodo it is really beautiful bird and we were very lucky to see it at least for 15 to 20 seconds and we were very lucky that we could click this bird afterwards again we sat in silence without moving waiting for the nicobar megapod after nearly half an hour our patience paid off and gitanjali's guess was right we could hear the calls of nicobar megapod behind the mound the nicobar megapod were calling nearly for half an hour without showing themselves but we were sitting very quietly and waiting for the megapod that they will now or then some time they will definitely come next please nicobar megapod it is endemic to nicobar islands being restricted to small islands and threatened by hunting this species is vulnerable to extinction the 2004 tsunami believed to have wiped out many which reduced its population and that's why there are very very few nicobar megapods are remaining but we were extremely lucky that after half an hour's call 
one after other two nicobar megapod con uh, came on the mount and we were able to see those nicobar megapods and we were so happy that these two birds we could see the nicobar megapod as well as nicobar pigeon which, which was a surprise gift to us from the great nicobar forest biosphere reserve next please now you can see some glimpses of trails in galatia national park left side sundari ma'am engrossed in watching the birds and below you can see jagdishan sir walking on the uh, wooden bridge these wooden bridges are bridges are there in everywhere in the park to cross because there are sometimes lot of mud due to heavy rains so there are everywhere these are these bridges are there so we can walk on these bridges comfortably without walking in the mud on the right side you can see jagdishan sir watching the dense forest of galatia national park next please above left side you can see our group celebrating after sighting nico uh, nicobar bird as well as nicobar pigeon all these forest we need permits permissions to go there we have to take permissions and specially i want to tell you that i have we have seen nicobar megapod and nicobar pigeon without any artificial call that is the most important thing we were sitting very uh, silently there without any making any call but those birds came there and we could see them beautifully uh, beautiful birds we could see without any artificial call that is the most important thing uh, below left side you can see sundari ma'am because we were sitting nearly uh, two and a half hours more than two hours at and half hours at one place so we were tired so uh, sundari ma'am relaxing in the chair gitanjali and uh, shakti standing there near the board and on the right side after bird watching enjoying sea waves at beach of galatia national park because there is beach at galatia national park and i cannot resist myself if i see water i i always go inside the water next please while going back we saw this beautiful olive back sunbird it is also resident of andaman and nicobar you can see the neck of this bird is bluish violetty bluish uh, neck it's really beautiful bird next please see this beauty of the nature see the colors of this bird oriental draft king kingfisher this kingfisher was sitting on the branch and he was sitting there nearly 5 to 6 minutes and he enabled us to watch its beauty very clearly Re very beautiful bird this is and we were very lucky that this bird was sitting there comfortably and he was not disturbed by us at all next please now i am going to uh, narrate thrilling experience in the forest of nicobar biosphere reserve this is one of the most exciting experience in my life after watching uh, in the morning watching nicobar megapod and nicobar pigeon in the evening we went on the hill side in the great nicobar biosphere reserve we saw the birds on the both sides of the road we went inside and we saw the birds afterwards the group decided to go down in the nature trail there is a nature trail in this uh, biosphere reserve the nature trail goes down and then nearly from uh, 7 to 8 kilometers it comes comes up from the another side <coughs> sorry so the group decided to go down but i said i will not come because the trail was very difficult to go down and then walk and then come up so i said i am not coming so sundari ma'am also said that i am also not coming because the trail is difficult so we both of us were sitting in the jeep with the driver and the rest of the group went down on the nature trail they went down and both of us then we, we were watching the birds on the road on the both sides of the road the birds were very uh, chirping there because it was evening the um, daylight was fading very fast and it was evening and we were enjoying that uh, road after some time shakti the local tour agent he called the driver he said 
that we have lost the way. We cannot find the way in the forest. So please blow the horn of the jeep so that we can find the way. So he blew, blew horn. But he said, no, we cannot hear it. You go to another part of the road and then blow it. So in this way, nearly on that 10 kilometers road, we went to three, four uh, sides and we blew the horn. But still, they couldn't find a way. So after some time, Shakti called the driver and he said that you come down because he was a local person. So he can he knows he knew all the roads, all the trails in the that nature park. So he called him. So the driver went down, and in the jeep, only myself and Sundari ma'am were there. Now there was total darkness in the forest, deserted forest. No one was there in that forest. Only myself and Sundari ma'am. Because of the darkness, we could not see the birds now on the road, on the both sides of the road, in the on the trees. But we could hear the various sounds of insects, and we could see the glittering stars in the sky, and we were enjoying it. We nearly walked there for uh, one and a half hours. After one and a half hours, our mobile batteries were going down. So we sat down in the jeep. Still, they didn't come. Near, it was nearly two hours time they were walking in the nature trail in the forest, but they could not find the way. And then suddenly a came th a thought came in our mind. Because the champagne tribe people, they are hunters and food gatherers. And we have heard that those people come out of their forest at night. So both of us were ladies in the forest and no one was there. So we thought that they may attack us. Of course, we didn't know whether they will attack or not. But we were frightened that it is nearly 8.30 uh, and they can come and they can attack us because they, no one was there. But then we were sitting silently in the jeep. Then other, another thought came in our mind that shall we go back to the gate? The gate was three kilometers away from that place. But then we thought that no, we will not go to gate because the guard was there. And maybe because that was Holi, Ranga Panchami. And he might have some somras. So we decided to no, we will not get, go to the gate. We will wait here for one more hour in the jeep, in that darkness. And then we will decide what to do. So we were, both of us were sitting there silently. After some time, Shakti came up panting. He said that we found a way, but Harish sir is so tired that he is sitting there in the forest and he is saying that I am not coming up. All of you should go. I will stay here at night in the forest and I will come back in the morning. I am not coming back. And he is very tired and he is not ready to walk at all. So he took some water bottles and dry fruits from us and he again went back. After, when, uh, after his, uh, he went back, after half an hour, the group came up. All of them were very, very exhausted, very, very tired. All of them were panting and they threw themselves on the seats of the jeep. And we were very relieved. Both of us were very relieved for two reasons. First, that the group came safely because we, we were very worried what the group must have been doing in this total darkness in the forest. And we were also worried for ourselves also. But at last, we were very happy that everything was perfect and we started to go back towards our destination. Next, please. See this forest, forest of biosphere reserve, where the group was lost and where we, both of us, were uh, strolling in, the, uh, in that forest in, the to in total darkness nearly for two hours. We were only two persons on that road and the group was down. They were finding their ways to come up. Next, please. Uh, see the when they were down in the evening, Harish sir on the right side and uh, be left below Gitanjali and the group in the forest at night. They were sitting there, though Harish sir told them to go, but no one came, of course, including Gitanjali sir, and um, the group below. You can see uh, Jagdishan sir. All of them were sitting him and they waited 
uh, that he can walk after drinking water and after eating some dry fruits he could be able to walk and they, all of them came up next please next morning we again started our birding on the left side it is long tailed parakeet see the beautiful tail of the parakeet and uh, see the red cheeks of this parakeet and on the right side it is asian glossy starling both these are resident of andaman and nicobar next please on the right side you can see pied imperial pigeon it is resident of mainly nicobar and below nicobar imperial pigeon it is it is mainly resident of nicobar but in some andaman islands smaller islands it can be found next please this is nicobar hawk owl sub species in nicobar next please next please after we went to chingen chingen is a uh, southern part of the great nicobar near uh, near the sea there we saw these andaman cuckoo dove these birds are really beautiful and nearly 6 to 7 birds <coughs> we saw in that area those were flying and they were chasing each other and that uh, sight was really marvelous and we were very happy to see these birds one of it was resting there and we clicked it these are also resident of andaman and nicobar next please see this uh, indian white eye on the right side this is nicobar sub species especially it is having a yellowish stomach yellowish color on its stomach and below on the left side collared kingfisher this is also nicobar sub species next please after watching birds in the morning nearly at 10 o'clock we went to this big very beach this is the most important thing and this is the thing which i love about it nature club bangalore that though they, it is birding tour they also cover the other areas also and they also have one or two more extra days so we cannot miss anything so in that pattern we went to this big very beach there are no birds at all on the beach but we went there to enjoy the beach and the beach was really marvelous the water was crystal clear it is a paradise and the most important thing is there was no other person on the beach we were only five people on the beach and myself and sundari ma'am enjoyed the beach we walked on the beach nearly for 2 3 kilometers enjoying the waves and clear clean beach and crystal clear water of the beach we really loved it on the left side below you can see our group myself harish sir sundari ma'am and jagdishan sir next uh, on the right side gitanjali dhar sorry sorry previous one yeah, gitanjali dhar sitting on the swing tire swing these tire swings are hung on the branches of the trees and really those tire swings are really nice all these are on the beach of the campbell bay next please see on the in the map you can see chingen village uh, above is uh, andaman islands and below nicobar islands great nicobar La, uh, below is uh, great nicobar and at the corner it is chingen village in 2004 there was tsunami and that's why everything was washed out after that they built all the things new in the right picture you can see gitanjali dhar with the local boy and in the background you can see the house which was built on the first floor this chingen people the village people the, they lived in this houses on the first floor because it it is heighted because of the uh, so that the water may not come in their houses on the left side you can see primary school of chingen it was built after tsunami uh, on the right side you can see health center of chingen village next please andaman nicobar 
it is having a lot of beaches, and especially Nicobar. All these beaches are of Nicobar Islands. On the left, left side, you can see on the other side of the sea, Indira Point. And the road which goes to Indira Point is washed out. It was destroyed due to tsunami. So now we can watch Indira Point from this end only. We cannot go to the Indira Point now. See the sea, beautiful colors of the sea. The sea water of Nicobar, really wonderful. So marvelous and very calm and quiet beaches. On the right side, you can see the boat. It is a local boat service. And this local boat goes to another small islands of Nicobar from Kamorta Island. And it goes to Kamorta Island also on the other parts. And below, you can see beach near Shastri Nagar. This is also the last part of the Nicobar. This beach is also really very beautiful. Harish sir was taking selfie. On the right side, Big very beach at Campbell Bay. It is also paradise on earth. Crystal clear water, beautiful, clean beaches, soft sand, really wonderful beach. Next, please. Now, this, uh, some funny moments. On the left side, myself, Sundari ma'am, and Gitanjali Dhar. We were enjoying. And on the right side, Harish sir was sitting on the jetty. His legs were down. Uh, we were uh, saying him that don't jump in the water, otherwise we will we'll have to jump and save you. And below, you can see Gitanjali Dhar having wonderful pose to take the photo. On the right side, you, uh, you can see the enthusiastic evergreen couple and they are very knowledgeable. They know each and every bird and they locate birds very fantastically, very nicely. Sundari ma'am and Jagdishan sir. Jagdishan sir was not ready to be clicked. He said, no, no, I don't want to go to be clicked. So he, he, he had his hands on his uh, face. Really wonderful. The, the co-travelers also very, were very wonderful. And so uh, was Gitanjali Dhar and Shaktivel and Bhavesh. Next, please. It was last day of our Nicobar tour. And so we were having last meal at Nicobar with uh, Sihachalam. You can see um, above picture, Jagdishan sir, myself, Sundari ma'am, and below, um, behind uh, Sundari ma'am, you can see Sihachalam and his sister and sitting uh, Harish sir. And below, in below picture, left side, you can see Gitanjali sir and Sihachalam. He is really hardworking and very cheerful person. And he give everyone hot chapatis and whatever, if you, and they were, he also gave a lot of fish, fresh fish, fried fish to Gitanjali Dhar and Harishar. So both of them were very happy to have this uh, fresh fried fish. Next, please. Now it was the last day and it was time to say goodbye to great Nicobar after one of the most memorable and amazingly successful tour, which was full of thrilling experiences. It was really marvelous tour. Our ship reached nearly five to six hours late next day. Generally it takes 28 to 29 hours, but it was late because while going to Port Blair in some Nicobar Island, there was one pregnant lady and she was needed to be taken to Port Blair. So our ship turned to that island and that lady was taken in the ship and then our ship turned towards the Port Blair. As I told you, that government gives lot of preferences to Nicobar residents and because that lady needed medical help, so the ship was turned to that island nearly five to six hours, nearly three hours, two and fro, six hours. And we had taken her, they had taken her, and then we went to Port Blair. Next, please. Next, please. After reaching Port Blair, we again started birding. On the right side, you can see Pacific Golden Plover. See the beautiful golden color on this Pacific Golden Plover. In the sunshine, it was really looking marvelous. 
very beautiful bird it is on the right left side below it is yellow bittern and on the right side it's common red shank next please we saw one more very rare bird we were extremely lucky to see this this is long toed stint see the toes of this stint so long and that is why it is known as long toed stint next please on the above left side it is pin tailed snipe and on the right side white breasted wood swallow this is resident of andaman and below oriental pratin coal left side on the right side richard pipi next please we also saw this monitor lizard it was nearly 13 to 14 feet its length it was nearly 13 to 14 feet and it was on the bank of the lake and it was walking there next please now it was time to say goodbye from port blair this is kamota island but after reaching port blair it was time to say goodbye and uh, it was time to say thanks to gitanjali dhar of it nature club shakti vel our tour agent and bavesh his companion for wonderful tour because great nikobar tour is not the general tour at all everything is very difficult getting permits getting ship tickets after reaching um, after reaching great nikobar getting um, rooms to stay having food and then again uh, permits to go to these biosphere reserves galatia national park and every everywhere they need permit and all these things were done extremely uh, fantastically by gitanjali dhar shakti vel and bavesh i really thankful to all three of them because they made our tour very comfortable though it is very not very good not very easy tour at all but it was very comfortable because of all three of them and i cannot forget my co travelers sundari ma'am jagdishan sir and harish sir we were very happy and those were very very good companions and very good co travelers and we really enjoyed the tour thoroughly next please thank you so much thank you all for watching this is uh, long tail parakeet thank you so much if you have any questions you can ask if i will be able to answer i will otherwise gitanjali dhar will definitely answer the questions thank you so much thank you thank you uh, manik it was wonderful it was like going down memory lane and you know like <laughs> yeah <laughs> doing the tour all over again yeah yeah really yeah. it was uh, really uh, nice and uh, thank you for uh, all the co travelers this was uh, personally for me it is a, a very difficult uh, uh, tour to organize Uh, as well as travel because i am a sea phobic person i am a water phobic person so uh, thanks to all your support you know like all of you encouraged me so much so i could uh, uh, the only only motivation for me to organize this or rather inspiration was uh, to organize this tour was that i wanted to see the mega port which was a lifer for me <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes fantastic. yeah so whoever wants to ask question can unmute yourself and uh, you can ask any questions that you may have thank you rotarian sunan for joining the session i know you wanted to uh, uh, like okay. take part yeah, no yeah. no i don't deserve a thank you madam i joined so late <laughs> i'm still out but i wanted to ensure i at least see the few last minutes but please share the recordings with me because yes. andaman nikobar has always been very close to my heart and yes. uh, been there many times to andamans of course and uh, nikobar yes uh, it's there in the list i is there permissions allowed to travel now as a yes. visitor Yes, uh, but it's slowly opening. Port Blair is open now, of course. Uh, we no, are. No, no, I'm not talking about Andaman. So I'm talking about some of the places in Nicobar. Uh, yeah, right. Great Nicobar. You can. Uh, it is yet to open fully. Uh, you know, like I think they are opening step by step. But I think uh, by around uh, uh, August, September, it should open up fully. In fact, oh, okay. I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But it's now, it's a very because... beautiful session. I think. Uh, 
we have to open it up to more number of people to at least uh, you know know and uh, 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 know what it is you know some people i mean there is so less uh, understanding about andamans and nicobars that uh, sometimes people ask vague question like do we need a visa to go there and things like that you know <laughs> there is a... <laughs> yes yes okay but, i yes. i yeah being a travel agent i uh, i know people even ask me you know like whether nicobar is but uh, somehow you know like that andaman everyone knows but for nicobar they always nicobar, ask you yeah, know like no. maybe it is part of malaysia or you know like some other exactly. country <laughs> <laughs> same, same thing here yeah. i too face the same kind of <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so you know that kind of uh, and and uh, I, I, having traveled to Andaman, you also know how people feel there when uh, the islands are not put in the map. You know, whenever they represent India is represented in the various forums, Andaman, uh, the whole uh, you know the yes. flag is uh, left yes. out. You know, so, yes. so I've heard many people tell, see yeah. mainland people, you leave us uh, and say India, this is India represent, and you know, so. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway that the part but it's a beautiful i would like i really like the session to happen again maybe for a much larger audience if possible you know sure sure uh, sure anytime the, the last Any... few minutes i attended was very nice yeah 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 i will definitely uh, uh, make sure that it happens again and manik is always uh, she had uh, gone and visited many exotic places including amazon so she should be talking oh. more about all oh. that. <laughs> sure sure definitely i will definitely like to share my experiences <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> i i i myself go through that journey again because of uh, all these presentations yes yes i know so we should have a live uh, meet sometime you know uh, because i myself am a traveler i am a mountaineer as well so okay. uh, you know uh, so we all connect uh, really nice when we talk about travels and experiences yeah. and travels you know so yes yes yeah <laughs> i think we should organize sometime soon yes sure, you sure, stay sure. in bangalore no no uh, nagpur maharashtra Oh, okay, okay, nice, nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, we are uh, staying at Tiger Capital. <laughs> wow. Okay. Lot, lot of lot of centuries are around us. Yes, yes, yes. Where yes, we can yes. find tigers. Yes, yes. Oh. Wow. <laughs> But I'm more interested in birds. Okay, I see. Okay, okay. Yes. Uh, yes anyone has got any question can please go ahead uh, unmute uh, yourself yes. and ask gitanjali ji yeah yeah anita ma'am is here yeah hello yes anita please go ahead yeah, yeah. just i want to ask whether we should, can find these birds easily or we have to wait for longer period means whatever birds one or two ma'am said that they have to wait for two and half hours like that but other birds Yeah, Gitanjali, you are going, or I, I'll. You can, you can speak. Uh, yeah. No, other birds uh, we can find easily, no problem at all. We yeah. found uh, other birds very easily, but uh, Nicobar megapod and Nicobar pigeon, these two birds are very, very, very rare, and we had to uh, wait for nearly two and half hours to see them. But other birds, um, we didn't wait for much time. We can see it easily. यस अनीता जी वो बोलते हैं ना कि कष्ट करने से कृष्ण मिलता है तो आर लाइक कृष्ण सो वी यू हैड टू वेट या एंड वन मोर क्वेश्चन इन अवर रेगुलर टूर व्हिच व्हिच आर कंडक्टेड टू अंदमान निकोबार वी शुड गो फॉर दिस बायो रिजर्व पार्क्स और इट्स इट स्पेशल टूर No, this was a special tour because this was, um, you know, like Andaman. Though uh, it's easy to travel, uh, mm. the challenge is uh, going to Great Nicobar because, uh, uh, you know, uh, first of all, the distance. Though on the map it may look uh, very near, but if you have to take the ship, it takes around thirty-six to thirty-nine hours of travel. Mm. Okay, so otherwise you do have helicopter services, but I'm uh, as I was just mentioning. Uh, uh, while i am a water phobic i i i don't like to travel by flight you know so uh, and of course you know like uh, uh, these are new experiences right so uh, yeah it, it it is a it is a difficult uh, uh, chore to organize uh, 
and a uh, lot of challenges because now uh, as we are talking there are some uh, accommodations available but when we did the tour there was no accommodation available we had to uh, you know um, depend on the rest houses uh, which are always booked because uh, uh, you know like the island is basically you know like catering to a lot of government uh, servants who go there and uh, they don't have any i mean there's nothing like home stays and also they depend on these rest houses so when uh, when this tour was happening there's a whole team of um, uh, uh, medical uh, staff which was there you know which was part of some government uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, project uh, so we had to really, uh, you know, like run around, take special permission, uh, uh, you know, like almost at the verge of giving up. But yet, you know, like I'm a person who persists a lot. I don't give up easily. So managed to get accommodation somehow. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and these are one of, one of those destinations where you cannot plan things much in advance. Okay. Uh, so you have to take this tour as it comes. Because yeah. you don't know what, you know, like there may be some changes because when you're, you, when you have to stay in a rest house, you know, like some government does, a person comes and you may have to vacate the place. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So that is and also going there, sometimes the ship is cancelled, the helicopters are not daily, uh, lot of things, lot of challenges are there to go to Nicobar. Yes. Yes, I think someone else was also asking something. Uh, heard, uh, but... Yeah, Gitanjali, the, <laughs> it was me. Okay, okay. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, uh, Manikji, it was a wonderful presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank uh, you so much. I have been uh, planning to visit Andamar since Andamar Nikubar since 1993, <laughs> but it has only remained a plan. Okay. I've not been able to. Oh, it's wonderful, yeah. especially near Nicobar. Was, Great Nicobar is really wonderful. Yes, yes, yes. Though I have a very close friend, I mean, my classmate who lives there, uh, we have not been able to, but definitely I would want to visit. I mean, this was uh, your uh, talk was very helpful, uh, really humbled by your talk. I just I had one or two uh, basic questions. Uh, one is about the weather, weather condition, uh, and what is a good time to go? Gitanjali, the climate and... Gitanjali can answer it because uh, we went in March, it was good uh, yeah. time uh, to visit. But rest of the things, Gitanjali can answer. Yeah, uh, as usual, um, uh, Sanjay, uh, winter is a good uh, uh, good season if you want to see the migrant uh, but, uh, but as I said, you know, like I keep saying that because uh, for a, a water phobic person for like me, I, I had planned the trip so that the sea is calm during the trip. So March is the month where when the ship is, you know, like it won't wave too much because the sea is very calm. So we had, um, uh, you know, like planned it in such a way that, you know, like, uh, we have a smooth uh, sail. Otherwise, the sea is very rough and, you know, like, um, uh, I mean, uh, some of the stories we heard there from the locals, you know, like, it's just really scary. <laughs> no, I know. But of course, uh, in fact, but of course well, you, can, well, you can use the helicopter, but again, you know, like, it's, uh, I mean, as I'm, I keep saying that these trips you cannot really plan. You have to go along with your, you know, like, okay, uh, because... Uh, the helicopter uh, ride will depend on the weather on that particular day. So it may get cancelled. So you need to have, I mean, I had requested all the travelers that you need to keep at least 20 days in hand, five, six days more in hand, you know, like to, uh, so that we, we, uh, we can adjust according to the situation. Uh, okay. Ideally, we should fly down to... Uh... Port Blair, and from there we should take the ship. Yeah, right? going That's up the... to Port Blair is absolutely no problem. We have no regular flight. Okay. The, uh, 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 the problem is between Port Blair to Great Nicobar. You flew from Calcutta or from Chennai? Uh, Chennai. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. But you can fly from Bangalore also. Yeah. 
yeah no no i was asking about your trip <laughs> chennai chennai yeah because jagdishan sir and uh, uh, sundari ma'am are from chennai and uh, i think harish sir flew directly from bangalore yeah thank you and approximately cost what will be per person uh, this trip i think it's around uh, 45 or so isn't it i don't even remember oh, yeah something 40 in between 40 to 50 yeah for 20 days uh, uh, excluding uh, flight tickets yeah yeah but but, but for 20 days means all the uh, including food and everything yeah 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 no not it was not for 20 days no yeah no 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 i had requested them to keep 20 days at the the trip got over i think in 12 days or so yeah yes it is it is including everything to plot bread yeah but uh, in uh, great nicobar gitanjali yes ah uh, gitanjali the cost was 48000 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acha, forty eight thousand. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, remember. Thanks, Rohini. Yeah, yeah. Remember, yeah. I had asked you. Ah, uh, I had asked you, but it was already full. You said no, only <laughs> limited people allowed there. It was. There, it so was full in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> it was full yeah, in five minutes. <laughs> And I, I, I know. She told me first only it is booked. I called that day only. The moment she put it, I called. But then it was already full. <laughs> I was. I was Of asking. Of course, I'm not a burger. Bro. I was asking Gita and Jaling for so many years that take the trip to Nicobar, take the trip to Nicobar. So at yeah. last she <laughs> she she yeah. made it, and we were very extremely thankful to her. Yeah, because I've been to Andaman and I wanted to go to Nicobar, but it's already full. So next time. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yes, I'm yes, also... Rohini. This year I'm planning because there's one one particular bird. Uh, which i want to see uh, so yeah. i'm planning something if it happens i'll definitely keep you all informed yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, share that information on our group also if you are planning to go to nicobar yeah yeah anita <laughs> i will do that yeah thank you oh, okay yeah very good presentation it was very nice experience is because every time we can see the uh, as a uh, point of view uh, tourist uh, nicobar and uh, andaman islands but uh, uh, through birding we can see a different part of these islands yeah so yeah. Was, yeah that was very important you want to say something yes yeah thank you harish for those wonderful words i'm i'm, I'm glad that you liked it Yeah, some people. Manik, even my grandson enjoyed the whole uh, this thing, the presentation very much. Huh? Very Thank happy. you. Thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor Vijay. Think, also being part of uh, today's program. Thank you. I I think Jagdishan sir wanted to say something. Yeah. Two or three things I wanted to say. First was when Geeta Anjali mentioned that that she wants to go there for looking at one bird. I wanted to know one bird that is. <laughs> Yeah, I too. My, my. <laughs> Nikobar, uh, sir, Narconda Monville. Ah, <laughs> Narconda. Now, main thing was uh, normally I after a tour, whenever I find time, even after a few years and all that, I like to ruminate and go through the entire thing. But then the the photograph and other things were always missing. Uh, thank you, Manik Ji, for for an excellent uh, presentation. Most I was able to live through the uh, tour completely yeah, yeah. once. Yeah, we had gone back. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Again, we went to Andaman and came back. Yeah. <laughs> like that. And the yes. beach. And the beach, we cannot forget. We enjoyed. Yeah. Especially yeah. Sundari, ma'am, and myself, we enjoyed the beaches very much. Very much. Yes. And uh, the food uh, in Nicobar was really fantastic. Yes. A small place. It was. So yeah. And uh, we didn't miss the temple also in Nicobar. We went to temple. To yeah, Nicobar. yes, yes. We went to temple also. Some festival was there. Yeah. And uh, one more thing we saw. No? Oh, uh, last day in uh, Andamans. Yeah. Uh, went all the local places. Yeah, Mount Harriet and all these things. Yeah, all that we went. Yeah. yeah. We didn't miss anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank nice. you.
thank you once again uh, manik uh, for uh, this session and uh, as uh, you know like there's uh, now you are in demand so let us uh, uh, keep uh, doing uh, more such uh, um, uh, you know uh, where where all you have been to many exotic places i think it should be told to the world what all you did <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much thank you gitanjali and rotary e connect for giving me a chance to uh, explain my journey to nikobar uh, i think there is some question gitanjali oh, we would also like to thank uh, gitanjali and uh, especially uh, as one participant was asking for is it easy to locate the other birds except for these two i would just like to add that uh, the mr shakti vel who was the guide throughout was an extraordinary person who knew everything and not only that he was so keen to show every one of the endemics i don't think many guides have that attitude and i would certainly say that it would be easier if to see most of the birds if you get a real good guide like him uh, thank you guide gitanjali ji for everything for yeah, yeah 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 it's very important that uh, for whom you are going um uh, unfortunately uh, i though i am into wildlife tourism i think the new trend is to just people just like to go and uh, see a bird uh, many of them don't even know the bird they just want to photograph and forget about it you know like you need to have a good guide who can explain the behavior uh, the pattern when they occur how they occur where they occur it's very important you know like so that that's how you you sustain the interest in birding for people you know uh, it's not just about you know like uh, taking photographs posting it uh, somewhere getting some like and you just after 10 days you ask the person what's the name of the bird they saw they don't even remember that so <laughs> yeah. Yeah. this so, is a time to reflect on the major project that is uh, likely to come up there it's being pushed through uh, people who enjoy nature like like us and others who do really enjoy that are going to feel very bad no matter what they talk about finally for pushing it through but i am sure the entire beauty of it will not be the same will not be the same it will be a very sad commentary on that yes yeah so so budget is asking uh, Uh, is asking uh, can you tell me who are the scientists working for leatherback uh, turtle conservation i don't have the name uh, right now but we can always find or you can always get in touch with uh, uh, shakti vel uh, i'm sure he knows because he himself was uh, uh, you know like he was uh, doing his uh, studies under bnhs so he can always uh, uh, put you across with them I hope I answered that, Subhajit. Yes. So thank you, thank you again. I think uh, uh, <laughs> we can wind up now. Thanks everyone uh, for attending today's event. Uh, uh, you can always uh, I will uh, share. Uh, uh, I mean, it is there on our uh, Facebook page, and I'll also share the YouTube link and. Uh, Uh, you can enjoy and know more about uh, uh, it and in the coming days you can reflect on how we did and if you want to travel you can always uh, get back to me for more, any information about the uh, island so more than happy to help around okay thank you thanks everyone thank you thank you gitanjali ma'am and uh, manik deshmukh ma'am also thank you so much yeah. thank you everyone yeah. and thank you rotary e connect again Thank you thank you most welcome you. it was wonderful yeah